What's going on everybody? I'm here for Gasp and we are shooting a chest video. I'm just under 14 weeks out from my next show and 15 from the one after that. So we're gonna get some chest done. It's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be intense. Let's get to work. All right guys, so one of the things you notice is the bench is set up on the first peg, which is gonna put me on the lower incline. I don't wanna be on a high incline. If the incline is too high, I will get the upper part of my chest, but I'm also going to get a lot of front delt. So we got one peg from the bottom, and that's going to allow me to get my upper pecs, but not too much shoulder. We're going to start there, start light, 60 pounds, and work our way up because these are all going to be warm-ups leading up to the heavier working sets. All right, guys, second tip is we're not going too low. We're going low, 90 degree bend in the elbow, or maybe just a little bit lower. We're not forcing the stretch. I'm not forcing the weight to come down too far because I don't want to put some undue stress on this joint here where the bicep, tendon, shoulder, chest meet. We want to get a stretch in the pecs, but we don't want to force pain. And on the way up, we're going three quarters of the way up because we don't want to lock out the elbow. Once you lock out the elbow, you're going to lose tension in the chest. So we go three quarters of the way up and then back down. What I like to do sometimes for chest to get a really maximum pump, really fill, fill the chest with as much blood as possible, is I like to do a, a lighter set at the very end. So we're gonna scale back now, go back to 80 pounds, perfect the form, and try and get more reps and really drive that blood into the muscle. All right guys, so now we're warmed up. We got some heavy compound in with the dumbbells. We're gonna move on to another good compound movement that a lot of people leave out of their chest workouts, and that's a decline bench. We're gonna do it on the Smith machine, it's like the way it travels. I don't have to worry about balance or anything. And it just allows me to focus simply on the chest and nothing else. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up so that the bar travels down to just below chest or almost at the very, very bottom of your chest. You don't want your elbows to be flared too much. So if the bar is up here in your upper chest, you're gonna be flared like this. You're gonna get too much shoulder. You want the bar to be a little bit lower so that your elbows can be down and you can press through the movement. Don't leave your elbows up here, okay? You want your elbows to be in this position so that when you're pushing, you're pushing with your chest and not the shoulder, okay? So let's start with that. All right guys, one of the main points you want to remember on all chest movements, whether it's pressing or fly or anything else, you wanna make sure your chest is up and arched. Okay, back arched, chest pushed out, and then you're gonna press through the movement or fly through the movement, whatever it may be. All right guys, we finished up, finished up the Smith machine with a drop set to really drive the intensity of that last exercise. From there we moved to machine press. Now I already did one set, and what you guys saw was trying to get a full stretch and a full squeeze, taking my time, moderate pace, not trying to break records, not trying to break PRs. All I'm trying to do with this exercise is drive as much blood into the muscle as possible. So all I'm thinking in my head is feel and pump. I'm not trying to think, I'm not thinking strength. I'm not thinking mass. I'm not doing six reps. I'm in the 10 to 15 range and I'm just trying to get my chest to burn as much as possible and get the biggest pump I can get out of this exercise. All right, so the last set here, we're gonna go a little bit heavier. Not a lot, still wanna try and get six to eight reps. The only reason we're doing that though is because I'm gonna do a rest pause set. So I'm gonna do my six to eight, I'm gonna take a 10 to 15 second rest, and then I'm gonna go to failure after that, whether I get three, four, five, six after is irrelevant. I'm just gonna take the set as far as I can take it after that, okay? So this is another one of those techniques we add 
to our workouts to just increase the intensity, increase the pump, and trash your chest. Trash your chest. All right guys, so to finish up, we decided to do a superset. And I love the superset because it kind of hits the center of my chest from the top down, if that makes sense. So first we, do, we did a hex press, which is hands together, pressing through the movement. And you almost want to twist your palms inward or pull your knuckles, twist your knuckles outward on the way up. So as you're pushing through the movement, kind of turn your hands. So you come down like this and then push out and turn your knuckles a little bit and that'll bring your elbows together and actually give you more contraction in the chest. So that's the first thing. Second thing is come all the way down. Rest the dumbbells on your chest if you have to. Obviously not for too long. Touch your chest and all the way through. You're not gonna be able to lock out your elbows most likely with your hands together. So just go as far as you can. And it's not a, again, it's not a mass movement. So we're looking for 10 to 12 reps if you can get there, right? After that, we move to a overhead dumbbell. Now, when I do them across bench, I feel it more in my chest. If I lay with the bench, I feel it more in my front, like the front of my lat or my serratus. So since we're doing chest, I'm laying across bench, go as far back as I can, and then pull forward. And when you pull forward, pull with this part of your palm. So you're kind of leading, leading your, the weight with the front side of your palm and flex your chest all the way through. And the whole time, just like all the pressing movements, you want to keep your chest full of air pulled out that way it's going to get you're going to get a better contraction that way all right guys that's chess for today Hope you guys got a good benefit out of it. Hope you got some tips you can take back to the gym when your gyms are open in your area. Some good things you can take back and help build that massive chest. Until then, I wanna thank Gaff. Thank you for the clothing, the pants, the shirt. Everything fits awesome, it lasts forever. And I put it through hell in the gym and I still got it. So check out gasp.com and use my code FUAD15, save 15%. Until next time guys, train hard. We'll see you guys later.